morning. Today is Saturday, February the 3rd, 2024. 20, Best baseball player of the year, 1997, Tony Gwynn, the fourth time. Very impressive. The leaders. Who are the leaders? with the most best baseball player awards that I'm giving out. Babe Ruth has 10. Ty Cobb has six. Ted Williams, five. Tony Gwynn, four. Stan Musial also had four. Tony Gwynn wins 1997. Where else did Tony win? He won the 84 season. 87 season, 94 season, and now 1997 wins three categories. Batting title, 372. Most hits, 220. I think that was his high. I'll look it up. He had the most singles, 152, and then he has, yeah, three categories. Batting average, hits, singles. McGuire had the homers, Delano Shields the triples, Mark Grozelanix doubles, Ken Griffey runs batted in, Craig Biggio the runs score, Larry Walker slugging, Frank Thomas on base, Barry Bonds walks, Brian Hunter steals, Larry Walker total bases. So Walker has two, slugging and total bases, but Gwen wins it, three categories. That's right, I base it on, who has the most categories. Let's look at 1997 for Mr. Gwen. I told you he won 80, 1984, that year. He had 211 hits. No, he had 213 hits, 1984, and he batted 351. He won that year. Then he wins 1987. He had 218 hits, batted 370. Then he wins 1994, which was a strike year, but he played 110 games. He was leading the league in hitting. He batted 394 that year. Had 165 hits. And now in 1997, he has the most hits of his career in that year. 220. And he bats 372. Batted, played 149 games. That, missed the, that means he missed 13 games. If he had played those 13 games, let's say another 13 hits, that would have been 233 hits if he played the full year. 220 hits. And it was his first year of having over 100 RBIs, 119. He only had one, one season of 100 RBIs or more. Well, what I like about Tony is one, two, three, four... Five seasons over 200 and 19 out of 20 seasons batting over 300. 19 for 20. I like that ratio, don't you? Of course, I've, I've, I've mentioned it before. His first year, he batted 289. And then for the next 19 consecutive years, over 300. And he was over 350. A really good stretch. Listen to this. One, two, three, four, five years in a row, he was over 350. He had a 358, 394, 368, 353, and 372 in a five year period. Not just a 300 hitter, but a 350 hitter for five years. And he ends up with a 338 career batting average, one of the greatest players of all time. You got to give it give it up for Tony Gwynn. 3,141 hits in 2,440 games. That is 700 more hits than games played. If he averaged a hit a game, that would be. Uh, 2,400 hits, but he didn't. He averaged like 1.2 hits per game, which gives him 3,141.
excellent hitter. The only thing on Tony was, I've mentioned it before, his last two years, in 2000, he was 40 years old. Only played 36 games. Then he comes back for another season, 2001, as a 41-year-old, and played 71 games. Those last two years, I would have liked to have seen more games. And I think Tony Gwynn could have been 3,500 hits. But he ends up with 3,141. Look at his last four years, 148 hits, 139, 41, and 33. If he plays full seasons, or at least most of the games, and let's say he's get like in the 180s and hits, he would have had 3,500 hits. Unfortunately, he didn't take care of himself toward the end of his career. Beginning of his career, he was plain shape. I believe he... He weighed about 165, 170, then he got up to 175, 180, 185, right in there. That's his playing days. But toward the end of his career, he ballooned over 200, got up to 220. Sorry, I can see it. Sorry to mention that. And then in retirement, oh my God, I saw him in the booth one day. My eyes saw it. Couldn't believe it. Was that Tony Gwynn? Must have weighed about 240 pounds. I don't like to critique him. He's a Hall of Famer. He's one of my favorite players. But what happened, Tony? Man. Uh, some people say you can't control your weight once you stop playing. I, I disagree with that. Look at I, right now I'm 69 years old. I weigh 170. I could easily weigh over 200, maybe even 250. If I just ate, 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 had four meals a day and just burgers and fries and shakes and chips and donuts and cupcakes and cake and cookies. I could weigh 240, but I choose not to. I choose to watch what I take, and I weigh 170. Am I boasting? Yes. Sorry. So I don't understand. It's the same with football players, basketball players, baseball players, a lot of players. When they get older, they're overweight. Why? Now, not all. Some guys take care of themselves even after retirement. But some guys, you see them. 220 pounds, 250, even 300 pounds, some guys. What's going on? 1997 is in the book. Tony Gwynn, one of my favorites. Hall of Famer, classic hitter, 338 career. All right, 1998 is next. My apologies to anybody got offended of my critique of Tony Gwynn. I've given him a lot of praise, but I was disappointed toward the end of his career what happened. As a result, he died young, 54 years old. Tony, we miss you. All right, 1998 is next. Stay tuned, I'm out.